What is up amigos? Today we're looking at air curtain aerodynamics. We'll be going through what are they, how they affect the aero and the drag effects. So first of all, what are they? So if we have a regular car at the front of it and we have the wheelhouse here and the, the wheel in here, for a regular car, the air will come hit the front and go around. When you have an air curtain, you usually have a duct around here that extends into the wheelhouse. So what happens is now the air that comes around gets sucked into this duct and it comes through and then it jettisons out. That is the air curtain here. And looking from the side view, let's say we have the rounded front and then the wheelhouse. We have again air coming through and it goes through this part and then jettisons out around the wheel and comes out. So why do we have these things? How do they affect the aero? So first of all, let's talk about when we don't have the air curtain. So we have again the front of the car and we have the wheelhouse here. We have the wheel in here. And as I mentioned in another video, this one here with cooling flow, we do have cooling flow that comes through and often it will jettison out into the wheelhouse as well. We also have air that comes underneath and it goes into the wheelhouse. It goes around a lot, wiggles around and then finally comes out in a very chaotic fashion. So what happens now is we have quite a big wake here and a lot of vortical structures. That means we get a high drag due to the vortex drag and due to the pressure drag. These are both bad things. What the air curtain does is it helps this wake become smaller. So by having this flow come through and it jettisons out, it really makes the wake suck into the car and it segregates the free stream flow, so the flow coming around here, from the flow coming from inside of the wheelhouse. So by segregating these two flows, you can then drop these two drags and drop the drag overall. So in generally speaking, I've seen some studies where they've reported like a 20 count drop in the drag coefficient. However, those were very specific studies. In general, we're looking more at about a five to 10 count drop in the drag coefficient when we adopt air curtains. Also, the front air curtains are usually more effective than the rear air curtains. There is one exception to that where if we have the rear of the car, let's say we have it down here, and the rear is here, we have the wheel, we can then siphon off air here and hopefully jettison it out into the wake to reduce the wake size. That doesn't always happen because we often have chaotic flow here, but that is one potential way where we do have an air curtain effectively reducing the wake in the rear here. But generally speaking, the front air curtains are much more effective than the rear air curtains and we get about a five to 10 count drop by using them. So that's the end of this video. If you'd like to make sure to like it, if you want to see more like this, click the subscribe button. And if you're better at CFD and or error, check out our courses and also check out a course that we've partnered with JKF. It's a really nice course for um, learning automotive aerodynamics. I really like it because if you like the stuff that we go through in this course, you will like the stuff that they go through in that course. Check it out in the link in the description. I'll see you next video. Peace out, amigos.